come on, what's wrong with us? No controversies today, let's get into some controversies. User r slash aha 97 posted 16 or 7, oh come on, right, right now it changed to 17, it was 16, and right in this second it changed to 7, uh, Reddit is trolling me, did you guys see that? Either way, this user launched a pretty interesting discussion that a lot of people engage with, and it's a discussion that I very much passionate, that I'm very much passionate about, and that I want to discuss with you a little bit further. It's a discussion that praises what SBI has done with the East server and it's a discussion that will bring us to the subject that I want to bring us to which is why Albion should have multiple servers, not just two. The discussion starts like this. It's a totally different game with a new server. I have been playing Albion on and off for a few years and never had my ping below 250. I can't believe how smooth the fighting is with under 50 ping. I think I'm finally going to enjoy PvP in this game. If you listen closely, you almost hear Robin throwing a party because oh boy, oh boy, they got one more PvP player into the meat grinder. And hey, that's great. Albion is a PvP focused MMO. So the more players that get into the meat grinder the better it is for the meat grinders all right now let's see what the community has to say about this and uh, what the community feels about the new server and then i'm gonna give you my opinion which might be a little bit of a controversial opinion for a lot of people that were passionate about the idea of albion being a single server game which i totally understand but uh, let's see what the players has to say bro the q knockback of the bow and any other skill knockback looks so good with green ping i agree i've played a little bit on the east server and i don't even have red ping like I, I got yellow ping 200 something ping 210 and bro it felt like a different game like I I, I could still play very much still playable but my reaction time was kind of like the reaction time of my grandma and the problem is my grandma's dead so yeah not really that much playable in terms of pvp can't relate i play with either 130 or 200 ping i'm not sure how you cannot relate because to be honest that's a big jump like for me it felt like a pretty big jump i think if you really sweat uh, yourself is quite easy to fight people with good ping yes but that's the thing a person with 10 ping has a huge advantage over a person with 200 ping now in farmville that advantage is not a big deal because i what the, what's the person's gonna do it's gonna plant more carrots per second or oh, boohoo that's sad but in albion online albion online is a pvp focused mmo in pvp reaction time and reaction speed is key you need those things imagine having this type of ping in league of legends that wouldn't be an esport anymore like you need real-time reaction or as close as possible to real-time reaction speed the difference between 130 ping and 250 ping is staggering a lot of the most successful pvp players I totally agree with that in the uh, history of the game have been on in the 130 range and at 250 ping you can't even walk out of pve mobilities without getting hit that's the thing this affects the whole game the pve is affected by this but the pve in albion is pretty how do i say it brain numbing <laughs> you don't really do much in pve so yeah okay you got hit by an aoe not the biggest deal but in pvp this is very much important and it's still a big deal in pve like don't get me wrong it's still a big deal but not as much of a big deal as in pvp glad you have a better ping i can't relate though since i'm usually around 50 to 60 ping so enjoy the pvp man see this guy has a huge advantage over us this guy has a huge huge advantage over us because he does have lower ping now of course this advantage will also translate from game knowledge from knowing a bunch of game systems that uh, and how you how to utilize them to your advantage and stuff like that so it's not all about ping if you have 50 ping you won't automatically win against a person with 300 ping you still need knowledge but low ping with high knowledge is the combination for success in this game feels great to have ping that is below three digits for once oh wow ping that is below three digits for once yeah that's uh, i i didn't even get to experience that but i can imagine it but i can imagine it and uh, here is the very very interesting part that i wanted to get to user hoon over here says still waiting for european servers and uh, he has a reply saying amen brother and i will absolutely Absolutely agree with that yes i feel like and this might be the controversial part of our discussion i feel like this doesn't need to stop Okay, hear me out. Initially, before SBI added uh, another server, being the East server, players were kind of confused about what's going to happen with the game. Like, okay, they had a new server. It's the first time ever we've even discussed about adding a new server. The game was always a one server game. That was one of the parts of the game that attracted a lot of people because you were like, hey, I see a content creator. I can play on the same server as that content creator. I can play on the same server as everybody else. It, it kind of feels like the real world. We're all on the same, let's say, server, you know, in, in real life and we're also on the same server in the game so uh, this was a selling point for some people 
And I totally understand it. It's a huge appeal to know that you are in the same world as everybody and the decisions that you make affect yourself, affect your server and affect in terms everybody else. That, that's, a, that's a nice thing to have in the game. But you see, there is... Um, in my opinion, there's a very fine line between madness and ingenious ideas. This seemed like an ingenious idea. Because you're like, oh wow, all the games have multiple servers, all the games basically separate they, their player base based on activities like, hey, that's a PvE server, that's a PvP server, Arbion doesn't have that. Furthermore, games separate their players into regions and into little servers in each region, Arbion doesn't have that either. It's all just one world. This, this is an innovation. But there's a huge problem in the fact that this innovation, this thing that seemed like a huge innovation like a huge selling point didn't work i'm saying it didn't work because there's players that literally played their whole gameplay in albion online with 300 plus pick that's impossible to play you get rubber banding i don't even know how they do that like i will be honest i have no idea how you log into a game you try to move you teleport all over the place you try to hit an ability in front of you and it goes in the side you try to dodge a mob attack and you're you clearly dodge the mob attack on your screen yet your character is in the mob attack and it gets teleported back you try to fight a person and you have it not like you're pressing your f and it triggers after five seconds i don't know how those guys are playing the game and furthermore i have no idea why they're playing the game so this idea that seemed like a huge innovation to have just one world started to become more clear that it's actually madness this was actually madness on the part of sbi and if this game wants to grow just imagine what would happen okay so you have just one server if on this one server huge streamers join in with their communities do you realize that the poor hamster rat is gonna die the poor hamster rat that's barely managing to run on one treadmill that guy is gonna die the server's going down so that's why sbi if they want the game to grow first of all they should allow people to play by allowing them to have actual good gameplay with actual decent ping now they did that for their US, um, like their US population, their US players, and now they're doing that for their Eastern players. I don't see any reason now that the separation in servers start, which again, I do really consider it to be a great thing for the game because it allows the game to grow. I see no reason to not have a European server. I see no reason to not have a Southern European server or an Eastern European server or a Western European server. Again, I, I'm not saying that, oh, SBI should add them tomorrow so that on each server there's 10 players. No, they should add them gradually over time as demands come because basically the demand for this game will grow and grow and grow this game on twitch i want you to realize this i've been i've been streaming this game for quite some time on and off technically i started streaming this game about three years ago but then i stopped and just joined on youtube when i started streaming this game this game had 4k viewers on twitch on a good day look at it now look at it now it's not even prime time this is not prime time look at it this game is growing immensely 10k viewers it's a huge huge growth just just comparing it with guild wars 2 let's compare it with guild wars 2 like this game is huge on twitch it's not as huge in terms of player base but it's huge on twitch and the the player base gets attracted to this game from the content that they see and they see this content on twitch they see this content on youtube if these players join in the game and they experience hyping because they play in europe they're gonna log off the game not because they don't like the game but because they cannot play it so for this reason i feel like albion online should add multiple servers and the eastern server is a great addition that needs needs to be a start for all the other great additions that would be the other servers. Now I'm very curious to see what you guys think about this. I'm very curious to see if you feel like multiple servers would break or I should say multiple servers would, would make or break the game. I genuinely feel like they would make the game even though yes we will never have one single world for everybody anymore. But I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think that's a bad thing because we will have multiple worlds in which people can still form names for themselves and potentially maybe sometimes in the future there would be a system that would allow sbi to combine those servers into one giant server run i mean one giant world run by multiple servers i don't know exactly if that's possible but i'm just saying even if they don't do that i still think it's a good thing for the game now let me know in the comment section or in the chat what do you guys think about this i'm really curious to see this i'm really curious to see what the community has to say because this is just my voice the voice of a crazy wizard that doesn't mean much without yours in the chat below so let's see what you guys have to say watch us play live on twitch.tv slash mockdown this video was made possible by our amazing channel members if you want to support by becoming a channel member yourself you are going to get access to amazing emotes that you can use in the comment section or during live streams member only polls and lots of other awesome perks shout out to all of you awesome badasses thank you so much for supporting us